Randall M. Roof doesn't do it for the money. He just loves to take pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and boys and girls. I'm Randall M. Roof. My call sign is K9RMR. Okay, what I want to talk to you about, uh, tonight about is the downside to the uh, Kenwood THD 74 Alpha. Before I begin this video, this is the best radio I've ever owned. Now, I'm, I don't have a base station, and I've only had two ham radios. I had the Baofeng BF F9 V2 Plus, which is an 8 watt radio. And then this radio, which was considerably more expensive, but it does a whole lot more, to say the least. Now, this is the, not the uh, rubber ducky stock antenna that came with it. This is an accessory uh, antenna. Um, the rubber ducky is about 7 inches. This is 15.5 inches, so it's a different antenna. It does do better. Uh, the quality of the antenna, the physical buildup, it's not as good as the Kenwood. But because it's a 15 inch, you can go farther and your receive is better. So that's why I use it. I wish Kenwood made a uh, 15 inch antenna that was as good as the rubber ducky, which is like seven inch, approximately 7 inches. But they don't. So if you're out there, Kenwood, take note. Um, but here's what I want to talk about uh, the downside to this radio um, battery life. Um, now, when I use this radio, it has uh, four power modes. It has high, medium, low, and then extra low, which goes all the way from uh, it goes half a watt, one watt, uh, three watts, and then five watts. So you have four power options, aside, of course, from uh, off. But if you, if you turn it on and you're transmitting, you have four options. And tonight I had the radio on for about an hour and a half, just under two hours. Uh, we have a net meeting here in Columbus, Indiana uh, on Tuesday nights at 8.30, and that normally goes about a half hour. So after the net meeting, uh, some of the other guys were talking uh, off the repeater on a uh, simplex frequency. Uh, they were just talking about different things, and I was listening in, wasn't talking a whole lot. But then about an hour passed, and uh, I joined in the conversation. And I talked for about uh, to one guy. For about a half, I'm not quite a half an hour. Well, about 20 minutes into that conversation, or about an hour and, I don't know, an hour and 20 minutes, give or take, I'm just ballparking it, but um, the battery uh, indicator um, started to show that the power was, or that the battery had drained sufficiently, where it had gone from a green full to 50% and it was red. So, uh, with less than two hours in, uh, talking on and off for about ten minutes, uh, listening for about an hour, talking for about ten on and off, ten to fifteen on and off. Um, that's, to me, not a very good power consumption uh, output usage. I mean... When I had the Baofeng, um, when it came to the battery, uh, the Baofeng uh, had, you could buy, it came with a standard battery, or you could buy or order it with the extended battery. And the, the standard battery lasts like a day and a half, two days, easily, easily a day and a half. But I went, when I got the Baofeng with the extended battery, and for 50 bucks, with the extended battery, I thought that was a really good deal. I paid an additional ten dollars for an antenna. Uh, all things considered, not bad uh, to make my entry into ham radio. And I could talk on that. But now the radio would get warm, and if you talk a lot, like say if, if I talked a half hour or twenty minutes, the battery, the radio itself would get warm. Um, but the battery would last a really long, easily two days. I mean, you just Turn it on, boom. I mean, if you don't use it, you just turn it on and monitor. Three days, easy. If not, three and a half days. If you're talking a lot, um, of course, it'd be a lot less. But 
monitoring for three days, not easily, no prop on the on the old bow thing. Um, now the Kenwood here, which I again love this radio, but it's got some downsides. And like I said, the downside is the battery. Now it does, it powers the radio pretty good. It's just the length of time, in my opinion, not as great as I would like it. Um, one of the downsides, another downside is there's no, you can't get an extended battery. Um, there's two batteries you can get, and it comes with the better of the two batteries that Kenwood makes for this. You can order replacement batteries, um, but the really good one, which is the one that came with the radio, which is what I have, obviously, uh, it's like $75. $75 for a battery. That's very expensive uh, in today's market for a battery. Um, now, would it be worth it? If I need, if I really need it, yeah, it would be worth it, maybe. Uh, well, if I really need it, yeah, definitely be worth it. But to me, seventy-five dollars for a battery just is a lot of money um, for something that's this size. Um, if the battery was like the bow thing, it could be extended. You know, maybe come down here and come across and go up. You know, if it was longer, which I which I wouldn't mind it being bigger because my, I mean, you can see, of course, I've got big hands. Ladies, I got big hands, <laughs> but um, and I'm single. Uh, but anyway, the point is, um, I mean, I hold it like this, and my my little uh, finger right here comes down underneath it. If it was longer, that would be fine. I mean, it does. It's not going to make the radio too long to be, you know, put in your pocket or where where did the coat pocket? You know, what I'm saying it's now. Granted, with the antenna, obviously going to be too long. But uh, the point is, if they made a longer battery. Uh, similar to the Baofeng as far as extra length, wouldn't be a problem to me. I would, in fact, like it because, like I said, with my hands uh, being the size they are, I wouldn't mind it. Um, so that's the battery issue. If you're out there, Kenwood, take note, please. Um, hopefully you'll watch this. Maybe you will. Maybe, I don't know. Who knows? I don't know who watches my videos and who doesn't. Not a clue. Um, the second problem I had uh, tonight is transmitting on and off for about a half hour, give or take. The radio did start to get a little, not hot, but it did get a little bit warm. Now, you can't tell it now, but like the real the corner right here um, started to come off, which I thought was kind of weird. Um, and, I mean, not, not real far, but it did, it did peel, it kind of peeled off like it, the glue had melted or something. I don't know. I'm not sure how that's on there. It, what I did is I kind of well, I blew on it and then pushed it down real tight. Well, I mean, when I was done, pushed it down real tight, turned it off, let it cool, and so far it's been good. But it did, when it got warm, it did peel off. I mean, it did not peel off, but it, it, I guess that's a good way to put it, peel off. It did start to come off a little bit, and I pushed it back on, blew on it, turned it off, let it cool down, and it's, it's right now it's fine. But the problem is I'm afraid that if I... Do a lot of rag chewing, which I don't do a lot of, but I do from time to time. Um, that it will come undone. And I really don't want to have to get some super glue, because super glue, when it dries on plastic, it turns out white. I just don't like that. But like I said, so far, I, you know, I, I pushed it down, it's, I blew it off, you know, kind of cool it down, turn it off, let it sit in the charger, charging unit. And so far, it's okay. Not a big deal. Like I said, who knows what will happen in the future. I do my best to try to take care of my equipment. Since I had to buy buy this myself, spend my own money, I try my very best to take care of my equipment as good as possible. Uh, this is either sitting in the charging unit, or if I take it mobile, I've got a backpack over there in the closet where I put it in the back, and it's got, I mean, I have to, when I close the backpack, I kind of have to bend the antenna a little bit. Um... But that's no big deal um, because it's, it's you know it's it's a flexible antenna it's it's fine for that. But um, so that's another thing. Another thing, a small minor thing. I'm just kidding with if you're watching. It seems very weird. This I mean, this is a small petty thing, but I'm going to mention it just because there's a chance maybe somebody from Kinwood is watching. Right here, A B C D. It would make sense if this was A B C D instead of A B C D. Small point. Just mentioning it. Um, but, again, overall, still very impressed. 
does D Star excellent, does uh, the local nets here in Columbus, Indiana very well, very easy. Um, very impressed with it. Uh, it's pretty rugged. It feels, you know, kind of heavy, like a brick, and that's not a point that's comment, uh, positive comment, because it's not lightweight. That means it's more durable. Again, it doesn't come with, I had to replace the antenna. Hold on, my screen saver just kicked on. I don't know why it does that when I'm busy using it, but anyway. Um, very impressed. Highly recommend the radio. I just, there's some things I'd like to see improved. Um, that's just me. But I'm, I'm planning on having this for a long time. If came if you came out with a longer battery that was compatible with this radio, so I don't have to buy a new radio, but I could get a battery that would say, you know, maybe, maybe an inch or two, maybe three, I mean, whatever. I mean, you guys come up with what you think is best, obviously, but a couple more inches length down, you know, it could... It could Come out because the batteries, you know, I don't see if you can see yeah, there you go. You can see what the you can see the divide here. Well, you can see the line here where the battery is shaped. And if it came down and went over, you know, you did a little you could make it two or three more inches, have a lot more power, and um, last a lot longer. Um, that's just my two cents on the matter. Two cents, three cents. It was five hundred dollars, four ninety five, which included shipping. But so you get my point. Again, love the radio. But uh, there you go. Well, with that in mind, I'm Randall M. Roof. My call sign is K nine R M R. And thanks for watching. Have a good day. God bless. Maybe I'll talk to you on the air. Bye.